What is up, wrestling fans? K Fabe Chronicles with your host JP. Battleground is this Sunday. Could anything possibly be as awesome as last year's Battleground? Actually, probably not. Last year's Battleground had Sammy versus Kevin, and that match was just freaking amazing. Uh, but yeah, Battleground is this Sunday. I'm going to show you my predictions because I'm getting a lot better at them. And you're going to listen because you love me. Let's get the ball rolling. In the pre-show, we're going to have Perfect Tan Ty Dillinger taking on Aiden English. And uh, these two guys are decent wrestlers. And we've no other spot to put them. So let's just have them fight each other forever and put them on the uh, pre-card. Um, you know, a solid match for Dillinger to, to, to continue his winning ways. Um, like I said, I like them both. Really don't care about this match. It's pre-show. I'm probably going to miss it anyway. Uh, but yeah, Dillinger's going to take this one. Recently added to the card, we got Sami Zayn, my boy, taking on Mike Kanellis. Um, as predicted, Mike Kanellis won his debut match against Sami Zayn after Maria interfered. Uh, interfered. Mm, interfered. Um, this one's kind of a tough call. Like, does Sami win and push the rubber match at SummerSlam? Or does Maria interfere again and Mike Kanellis does it? You know, it, it, it's really, really tough. Um, I think that it's going to keep going the way that it is. I, I think uh, Maria is going to interfere and cost uh, Sami Zayn the match. Mike Kanellis is going to win. It's going to push the feud down the road where eventually uh, Maria is going to either cost Mike Kanellis the match or she's going to be banned from ringside. But I still don't think it's... Uh, Mike's time to lose yet. Breaks my heart to say it, but Sammy's not going to win this one. Coming up next, we got Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Baron Corbin. In a kind of weird feud, uh, you know, you got Mr. Money in the Bank taking on Shinsuke. Uh, you know, they've been beating each other up lately. It all started kind of at Money in the Bank. As, like, like you know, when Shinsuke was coming down the ring, Baron Corbin jumped him from behind. Uh, it's kind of continued on to that, that they hate each other. Uh, I think that this is just kind of building up towards future things. Like, ultimately, we know AJ is going to fight Shinsuke in a just all-over-the-place match because that's the match that the world wants. Um, th this one, I, I think Baron's going to win, but it ain't going to be clean. It's definitely not going to be clean because, like, AJ will... Sorry, uh, Shinsuke will still look really strong, and Baron Corbin will obviously look strong, but, like, to have Mr. Money in the Bank lose so close to winning it eh, it's a little weird but yeah uh, this match is going to be really good though I have a feeling that this is going to probably be the dark horse match of the night for, for taking the best match in my opinion I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this one we're going to have some AJ Styles taking on Kevin Owens for the US title um, you know I, I like them I like the way they both work in the ring I think it's awesome uh as, as much as it hates, you know, hate as I don't like that Kevin Owens doesn't have the belt right now, the belt looks damn good on AJ, and you can't take anything away from him. He's the phenomenal one for a reason. You could have him, like, fight, like, a moldy bag of potatoes, and it would probably still be freaking amazing. Uh, just, yeah, though, um, I, I know, like, Kevin Owens has, they, they have something else planned for him. They have something else planned for him. He's, he's probably going to be in the world title picture again pretty soon. Uh, he's a great heel. Uh, but yeah, they're going to keep the U.S. title on AJ for now, see what he does with it. But yeah, AJ's going to take this one. We got the five women. We got Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Natalia. Got some Tamina. We got some Lana fighting each other for the winner gets uh, a title shot against Naomi at SummerSlam. Kind of weird, kind of weird. Um, You know, five way, you know, that's what they do. It's what they do. Um... Overall, what I think is going to happen is I think uh, Charlotte or Becky is going to win. I was thinking it was going to be Tamina. I just had this thing, but then I'm going on future storyline here. Uh, Charlotte or Becky uh, is going to win. Don't care who. Prefer Becky. Uh, but they're uh, then they're going to fight Naomi at SummerSlam. They're going to win the title, and Carmella's going to cash it in and win. But yeah, like I think you got to really go with the face to, to win this here, because then it just makes more sense for Carmella to cash in cheaply against against the face uh but yeah i was thinking maybe it would be like tamina who would beat naomi at SummerSlam. i i don't know i don't know you know what i don't know who's gonna win there we're just gonna put that there i don't know who's gonna win 
But Carmella's going to cash in against whoever wins at SummerSlam to win the title. There we go. Could be anybody. We got John Cena taking on Rusev in a flag match. In a kind of weird flag match. Traditionally a flag match. Uh, you have the flags on opposite ends of the ring. And it's like a like essentially like a, like a ladder match. you got to climb up uh, the ring and pull the flag down. Whoever pulls their flag down first wins. Uh, this is going to be a little bit differently. You have to get your flag... Run up to the ramp and put the flag into something like a flag holder at the top of the ramp, and then you would. Um, this match can really go any way. Um, I'm gonna go with John Cena just because you know it's the whole America thing because we already know what's gonna happen in the main event that I will talk about a little bit later on. Uh, it sucks because Rusev just came back, and I like Rusev a lot, and he deserves so much more than what he's getting. Ah. One day he'll be John Cena, but tonight will not be that night. John Cena's taking it. Tag team titles. We got the Usos going on against the New Day. Let's just cut the BS. Usos with the belts not working. Nobody cares. It's doo doo. Uh, New Day needs to win the titles. Uh, we've pushed it long enough with all the DQ and no finish junk. Uh, the tag division is in desperate need of of an uplifting, and New Day is the team to to take it a little bit. To where it has to go right now. So I'd be really shocked if New Day doesn't win. Uh, like I said, just Usos in the belt. Just it's not. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Why does the Wookiee live on Endor? It does not make sense. But yeah, New Day has to win the belt. Otherwise, the tag division is just even more diarrhea. Closing it off. We got Randy Orton taking on Jinder Mahal in the third Punjabi Prison match. Um. I was really against the Punjabi prison match idea when they said it was going to happen. But then I started thinking about it, as you guys have seen in like my previous videos. Um, for once, we actually have two decent wrestlers in the Punjabi prison match. So maybe it will actually hold its own and make sense. Um, you know, I, I like the way it looks. I like the new look of the Punjabi prison. It looks really badass. Uh, but yeah, just cut all the crap. Uh, Jinder's going to take it. Uh, Randy doesn't really need the title anymore. Uh, to have Randy win the belt just doesn't really make any sense. Because uh, Jinder's going to hold the title going into SummerSlam. Who knows who he's going to face there. Somebody awesome, I hope. Um, don't really know how this is, how the outcome is going to happen. Because, you know, like, the Singh brothers can't really get in. But I guarantee the Singh brothers are going to find a way in. They're small enough. They can fit through the cracks. Like, seriously, I'm the size of them. It's awesome. Uh, but, but, yeah, I, I think the Singh brothers are going to find a way to somehow get into the enclosure, interfere cost for Randy Orton the match and Jinder is going to retain so yeah overall though, it should be an interesting match Woo, prison and there you guys have it let me know your guys predictions in the comment section below I do read them I do read them as always crush that like button and subscribe for more great videos follow us on twitter using the two name tags below and also check out the facebook page also in the description as usual, this is JP from Kayfabe Chronicles, and I will see you guys after Battleground.